Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you, uh, or at least informing you, that Palm has released their Mojo Software Development Kit. And if you're not, if you don't know what that is, that is the software development kit, the SDK, or basically the tools for developers that allows these developers to write programs for Web OS, which is the operating system currently found only on the Palm Pre at this point. But in the future, there will definitely be more devices that Palm releases that use their new revolutionary web OS. So it's free to download the software development kit. You just need to press download and then sign up with an account. Before you download, you're going to have to install VirtualBox. Now, the SDK runs on Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows, but it gives you the links directly to download that, and it's really easy to do. Now, when you install the SDK, you get a few things. You get the Palm emulator, Palm inspector, debugger tools, and various other command line features, I guess. But also, to actually develop for this, you're going to actually need to download Eclipse and a plugin for Eclipse. So Eclipse is good, it's free, of course, and uh, available for uh, Windows and Mac. I'm not, gonna actually, I'm not exactly sure about Linux, but I'm sure it is. So I'm just going to walk you through the emulator running in VirtualBox, as you can see. So here's the Palm emulator. It works similar to the, an actual device, but some things don't work. Obviously, there's no physical keyboard, and there's no way I've found to get that quick launcher. But if you click up here, you get some options. You get the date, battery, which is always at 89%, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth off, and airplane mode. You can turn on airplane mode, but you actually it won't. It just is an infinite loop. It doesn't work if you try to turn Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on. So it doesn't really matter. I guess we can just turn air, turn off airplane mode. Doesn't really matter. So let's say you wanted to test out the search function. You just start typing. So let's say I started typing Michael Sherlock, and then from there I can search on Google, Google Max, Wikipedia, or Twitter. So let's say I wanted to search Google. It'll go ahead and open up the web browser, and my blog will come up first. So we can click on that. Double click to zoom. So there's the blog. So you want it to go back. If you keep scrolling down, you have the YouTube channel. And YouTube, if you didn't know, on WebOS launches the mobile version. But let's say you wanted to play video, you wanted to play this Akuto Z Group iPhone Pro review. You just go ahead and click on that. And from there, you can press watch video and it'll open up the YouTube application and you're good to go. Now, if you press escape, you can go out to the card view there we go didn't work for a second so let's say you wanted to open it up but let's say you wanted to start typing something else you start typing M and since it's not as specific you're able to search memos music messaging Google Maps so let's say you want to type search memos find memos you don't have any so you can create a new memo and you could say Michael Sherlock is the or we'll go like this the are you the, uh, the revived one and then you can change color, let's say we want it to be blue. Okay. So now you have another memo. Uh, Michael Sherlock is the revived one. So then if you started typing Michael, you could find it in memos because it's there. So I'll just show you the phone application. Of course it doesn't actually work, but you have your numbers here, so could go ahead and do that and you have pound you could call and you can add that number to contacts let's remove all the digits you have these other two buttons down here voicemail button obviously that's not gonna work so we'll go ahead and end the call and then this one over here which is just your call log so yesterday I did a test voicemail missed calls you don't have any and so you can multitask on the web OS, but let's say you didn't you just throw the card away and it's gone, which is pretty cool. I'll show you the calendar. You can import calendars from Facebook, Google, Microsoft Exchange. So let's say I wanted to import from Google, you could just type in your email address, type in your password, and then you'd be good to go on that. Or you could do Microsoft Exchange as well. Or if you didn't want to do any of that, you could just press done. And let's say 
you wanted to add a new event for 8 in the morning, you could say uh, watch Tiger Woods if you were a golf fan. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's his tee time. Maybe 9, whatever. So you could go ahead and do that. So we've already gone through that. Contacts. Your contacts list is empty. You can add a contact. So let's say you wanted to add Michael. And the company was the revived one. And you could add an email address, the revived one at gmail.com. You could change that from home to work. We'll say work, whatever. You could add other email addresses. You could add phone numbers. You can do all that. And then in there, that'll launch up the email account. And once you add an account, it makes it easy for you to send emails, basically. So we'll throw those cards away. So I've showed you all those applications. Now if we go in over here, you can see the messaging app, which we already saw. The web, we already did that. Camera, so photos, I can, we'll still look at photos. So there are some images here. And you can go through them. Double click to zoom in. Double click to zoom back out. Then you can, let's say you wanted to look at this one, that's pretty cool. And there you go, images. And they also have wallpapers, but those are the, so those are similar. In fact, I think they may be the same just on this. Then music. It's empty, so you could do get my music. And it doesn't really work. But you could put music on here uh, if you actually own the device. So videos is going to be the same. We already did memos. We can look at the clock. There you go. And you can set alarms as well. There's the clock. Alarm. So let's say you wanted to add an alarm. Let's say you wanted to add another alarm. So watch Tiger Woods. And we'll just say that occurs at 9. So that'll be on, so this will ring when that happens. And down here is your notification bar. So you notice it has a little alarm here. If you were to get a new email, text message, whatever, different alarms would come up here. And it's really not as intrusive as Apple's method of notification, for instance, if you, when you're on your iPhone, if you're playing a game, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everything will just come to a halt, and you'll have to deal with a text message right then. And what I don't like, particularly, is if you press close, uh, on that message, you know, it already marks it as read for text messages at least, which is kind of frustrating because sometimes I'm in the middle of a game, just close the text message, I want to keep going. Uh, so Palms definitely implemented a, the WebOS with notifications in mind. They did a good job on that. First use is just set up, and we'll try Google Maps. So let's say you wanted to go to Las Vegas, type that in, then you're there. And then you can get directions to here, see on map. Say you wanted to go to a different place. Say you wanted to go to London, England. Actually, I'm in a Beatles mood. I'll go to Liverpool, England, in the UK, right there. And that's just pretty cool. And uh, you can go to menu, so it'll show traffic, which is cool. You can do a satellite view. You can get help, clear the map, close the menu, and you can just look at it from a list if there's multiple different locations. So if, yeah, basically. And you can just move around and go ahead and do that. And then if you wanted to edit it, cut, copy, and paste, that's where that is in the edit menu. So this is, again, Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. This is the Palm emulator that emulates a WebOS environment right now only found on the Palm Pre, but will be featured on more Palm devices, although none have been announced in the future. It supports multitasking and notifications very well. And uh, if you are into maybe developing, you can go to developer.palm.com, download the Mojo software development kit. It's free, you just have to give them an email address. You can download that for Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows, and it's all free to use, and it's really simple. 
So again, thanks for watching.